Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm just boxing up one of my CW decoder kits to get it ready to send to a ham in Texas. And uh, we'll put it all together here. I've got a uh, printed circuit board going in there, the LCD display, got all the parts right there, some directions. I've already checked off the parts to make sure that everything's there. We'll get this boxed up taped up here and ready to go off in the mail. But you know, I'm running out of uh, these printed circuit boards. I need to order some more. So stick around and you, you can see how I do that. Over the last few years, I've ordered quite a few printed circuit boards. I started out ordering them from a company called Oshpark in Portland, Oregon, and I was happy with them. But I was looking for a better price, and I came across a company in China that uh, would make them quite cheap for me, but the turnaround time was much, much longer than it ever was with uh, Oshpark. And as long as I knew to order well in advance, it didn't seem to matter if it took a month or more before my circuit boards arrived. Not too long ago, I received an email from a woman named Selena who works for a company called JLC PCB. It's a Chinese company that makes printed circuit boards. Apparently, she's seen some of my videos because she's asked if they could sponsor me making a video, in fact this video, showing how you go about ordering PCBs from their company. So okay, I thought, I'll do a little bit of research and see what I can find out about these people. What better place to start than YouTube itself? So let's see what we can find. Aha! Uh -huh. We've got some videos here. Ten boards for two dollars. Look at that. Let's take a look at the factory. Circuit boards are in just about every piece of electronics in our lives. But how are they made? And why the heck is it so yellow in here? This guy is Scotty and he has a YouTube channel called Strange Parts. And if you haven't seen his videos, stop what you're doing right now and go check him out. No, wait a minute. Don't stop what you're doing right now. Finish watching this video and then go check him out. I purloined a few clips from his factory tour. Sorry about that, Scotty. But I know these people are going to come and check you out. So, it's very impressive to see all the things that are going on at this place and all the steps that go in to making those printed circuit boards. This is process after process. Really, really intense. This is a video you'll definitely want to watch. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm ready to give them a try. So, let's take a look at their website. You can see here that um, they got a lot of flashy stuff going on. I'll scroll along. And we, they talk about making two-layer boards and four-layer boards. I normally do two-layer boards. And look at this. They're showing a price right here of $2 for 10 board with a size up to 100 by 100 millimeters. And my board's about 60 by 100 millimeters. I, I don't know, 10 of those boards made for $2? Let's check this out. Okay, it says log in. I'll click there. Oh, it says I could log in with Google. Let me do that. That'll save some time and, oh, I seem to be in. Let's try this. We'll go quote now. And here's got some choices. It says two dollars. Says uh, 100 by 100. Oh, we can add our Gerber files. I'll uh, click here. My documents. First we'll go to the Fritzing folder. That's where I do the work. Let's just click open. And it's uploading my Gerber files. These are already zipped. I, I've ordered them before from other vendors. And, oh look, there's my boards, just like that. Now when I've ordered printed circuit boards from Oshpark down in Oregon, 
I was able to look at all of the various layers that went into my project. That Gerber file that I uploaded was a collection of individual files and I have the ability to look at individual layers one at a time. I see that I can do the same here with JLC PCBs. And that's a great feature and we can do it right here. I'm going to click on Gerber Viewer and we'll take a look at those layers. This looks good. There's my board. Uh, it says we're looking at the top here and we're seeing all of the layers here turned on. So just to give you an idea of what this is like, we can, uh, if we want to look at just the silk screen, I can turn off the solder mask, I can turn off the copper, the outline, and the drill. So now just the silk screen on the front of the board. If I switch to the bottom, we're looking at everything on the bottom and I can do the same thing turn off some layers that's a copper layer there we go so again there's just the drill layer on the bottom and then when we come back to the top we see all the layers again this is really nice just to see how your layers come together and it's a one more chance for you to stop and check that everything is going to come together right the way you expect it so that's good now let's go complete this order it says Special offer, $2 for 10 boards. It says they're green. Now, I have uh, done them in the past with red boards. So let's see, if I click on red, oh, the price changed. Let's see. Okay, they want a $9 charge if they want something other than green. Well, you know, I'd like to just go ahead and give this, uh, this $2 offer a try. And see what we do. I normally order more than 10 boards. I order them like 20 or 30 at a time. What if I change the number? Uh, quantity. Let's go with 20 of them. And now, oh, they've added an engineering fee and now they're charging $8.62. That's probably their regular fee for the boards. And still, you know, for 20 boards for $17.62, that's really a good price. But I'm going to stick with the 10. I, I want to see these boards and make sure they are uh, the quality and the, uh, that I'm used to, that I like. So uh, we'll stick with 10 and um, we'll make them green. Um, I'll take all their default settings. They look fine to me. And hey, for two dollars, this is this is pretty cool. Let's save it to the cart. I wonder what they're going to charge for shipping. That will be interesting. So what we have here is a shopping cart. There's my board. Oh yeah, you get to see it. It looks just like my board, my uh, Revy board, and I'm saving three dollars. And they say they'll build it in two days. And let's go to checkout what we get here. Okay, all of this looks good. Well, I guess we better start by giving them a shipping address. Oh. We'll save that. It says save successful. We we'll hit continue. Oh, it says choose an address. I guess we have to click the dot. Okay, here things now are changing. The shipping now is showing it at $19.94. It was $0 before, but now that we've got the address information in here, we are coming up with something different. So it looks like we will be getting 10 boards for $21.94. That's $2.19 for each board. We could, uh, we should be able to do that. That's still a pretty good price. We'll go into PayPal here. I will log in and take care of that. Okay, here's uh, the receipt from PayPal that says that they are being paid. You can see down here, two dollars. Uh, but when we do the shipping and handling, um, 1994 for that, a total of 21 dollars and 94 cents. I have to say, 21 dollars and 94 cents, 22 dollars for 10 boards. That's a pretty decent price. And the question now remains of how long will it take to get this? We'll take a look and see what comes up. Well, a little time has gone by here, and I've been away for the weekend. I'm looking at my email here, and I see where I'm getting a notice from DHL Express that I have a delivery on its way. 
on the 1st of September. Here's an email confirming that I had placed my order the day before and this email showed up. We're talking about several time zones here, in fact an international dateline between us and China. But here's the confirmation of the order. That came in on the 1st and now today I'm getting a notice from DHL Express that my shipment is on the way. It's coming and they expect it to be here on Friday the 7th. So that's just uh, another three days away. Well, I'll look forward to seeing that come in. This is really good. It's a tremendous turnaround time. Let's see if they can pull that all off. Well, look at here. It's Wednesday, and I'm receiving this message from DHL that says that my package is coming today. That's two days earlier than what they told me before. So that's pretty good news. And sure enough, just like they promised, the DHL guy was right at my door that very same day. So let's recap this. On the evening of the 30th, I place my order. Less than two days later, I'm notified that JLC PCBs is shipping my order. Three days later, DHL tells me that my order is going to arrive on Friday the 7th. But it doesn't. Instead, the package is at my door on Wednesday the 5th. That's less than one week. Amazing! So, here it is, a package from DHL. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay, we get a pair of scissors out and let's get into this guy. Sure didn't take long to get here. What do we got? I guess there's a little paperwork here. I don't know how important that is, but we'll grab it. Oh, it's coming out there. Just an invoice. Throw those away. Okay, look at there, nice box. It's got the company logo, JLC, PCBs, and a whole lot of prototype PCBs. Only two dollars. Well, let's see what we've got. Yeah, the package there. Okay, Open that up. Now we'll cut these open here. Now let's do a quick count. Pull these guys out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's my ten, and look, the next one, eleven. How nice is that? <laughs> you know what? I have to tell you, I've been ordering boards from Osh Park. I order boards from another company called D Dirty PCBs. Every single one of these companies seems to understand the concept of a baker's dozen. They never send me the number of boards that I order. I always get extra. So that's 11 boards for a little over $20. Wow. So let's take a moment to compare these three boards. Three boards that are identical but manufactured by different suppliers. First of all, we've got this board one of my originals that came from Osh Park. Then I started getting this version right here from a company called Dirty PCBs in China. And finally, we have this one right here that has just come in from JLC PCB. Let's see how they compare. As far as quality goes, I would give all three of these boards the top score. They're all all-stars. I'll give Osh Park a little bump plus here because those boards are plated in gold. As far as turnaround time goes, I'll give Osh Park one star. They got things to me in a little over two weeks. JLC PCB is by far the best, and the turnaround time of over a month for dirty PCBs just is not acceptable. When it comes to shipping costs, you can't beat Osh Park. It's free and fast, and the other two manufacturers offer the usual international options and are about the same price. Price is where things really start to vary. Osh Park charges you $5 per square inch, but they'll send you three boards. They do have a better price if you order in quantity, but you have to order in groups of 10, and the total order must be at least 150 square inches. That meant I had to order 20 boards, and the price was $180. 
I got 10 red boards for only $12, and the same number of boards from JLC PCB was only $2. So let's look at how this all works out as far as price per board is concerned. That's $15 per board with Oshpark, or $9 per board if you can order in quantity. It's $4 per board for the red ones, but JLC PCB comes in again with the best price at $2 per board. Well, what's this all mean? Oshpark makes great boards, but the price is too high. Dirty PCB makes good boards, but the turnaround is too slow. From now on, my choice is JLC PCBs. I'd like to thank JLC PCBs for sponsoring this video, and Scotty for his YouTube channel Strange Parts. Look for a link to his factory video in the comments below. And I especially like to thank you for watching this video. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.